Hey guys, Fred Applesauce here, and today I'm going to be doing yet another thing different from my MLB videos. I'm going to make like three or four of these videos today, start grinding them out, because my uh, schedule is about to change. Um, and so, to, in this video, we are going to be reviewing Simulation Theory, which is the latest album by Muse. I know it's not exactly new at this point. I just think it'd be cool to review it. And to start, we are going to be getting started with Algorithm. And I'm not going to be playing too much copyrighted music because the YouTube algorithm is going to uh, pick up on that. But this song I really like. I like how it just reels you in immediately. Another thing about this album, I love concept albums. Those are That's like my favorite thing, favorite type of album, I guess. Um... And that is exactly what this is. And for those of you that don't know, concept album is something that sort of... It's like a story, sort of, in a song. And you can see those in the music videos a lot. But Algorithm, I really like it. Um, the lyrics don't really kick in until later. And I know in my last video I said something I didn't like with Knights of Sidonia. But for some reason it just really works with Algorithm. Um... And I'm a pretty loose raider, I guess, here. Uh, algorithm for me, this one gets a 10 out of 10. Um, I don't know if I'm going to rate every song. I'm probably not. Uh, the Dark Side, this one I initially hated. But this grew on me immediately. Well, not immediately. It took some time. But I really love it. One of my favorite songs. In my last video, I actually put this at like 7, I think, for my... Uh, top 25 favorite songs and uh yeah dark side i like how it's sort of oh you know dark that's obviously what it sounds like i'll play a little bit for you i don't know if you'll be able to hear perfectly uh but i'm not gonna play too much because you know youtube And, yeah, that's just the intro, and it's already sounding sort of dark. I keep saying dark on the dark side. That's probably not a good idea. Uh, but I really do like this song. One of my favorites of all time. The next song is what got me into Muse in the first place. And it is Pressure. I told this story on the last one. But my friend actually said, hey, dude, do you know who Muse is? And I'm like, no. And he's like, okay, listen to Pressure by them. And there you go. Now, I'm a big Muse fan. It's actually my favorite band now. Um, so, yeah. This is one of the only ones where it's not really... Because I feel like Muse, the one big thing with this album, they're trying to shove it down your throat. Hey, this is about the 80s... Or not about the 80s, but hey. This is like 80s themed. Even the cover art, what you're seeing now, it's probably my favorite cover art of all time. It's amazing. Um... But yeah, they just try to shove it down your throat. This is one where they sort of take a step back. This is where technically the story kind of starts for the music videos. And I just love it. Um, this one, I think, got number six for those top songs. So yeah. And then you have the biggest mistake of the album. Oh my, propaganda. It's horrible. I mean, it's... It, not gonna lie, it's been growing on me, the actual lyrics. But just the intro, and like the bridge or whatever, the intervals, I guess, it's just horrible. And I need to cleanse my ears after I listen to that. It's horrible. <laughs> Actually, the first time I was listening to this, I had headphones on. And I, I don't really listen to super, I don't listen with them really high up. Uh... <laughs> I did that on the last song by mistake, and propaganda just hurt my ears um, a little bit. Next song, Break It To Me, sounds a little bit like propaganda, a little bit too much like propaganda for me. I do like it, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's just not, I don't know, just in my opinion, it doesn't get something done for me. I don't know what it's missing, but, you know. I don't know. Then you have a much needed 
sort of step back, I guess, again from the story. Not really, if you're looking at the video. Um, sort of a cooling off point, I guess. It's a quieter song. Something Human. This one got 25 for me on my top favorite Muse songs. And uh, it's really catchy. Really catchy. And I love this one immediately. And for this, I'm only going to be talking about the normal version, not the super deluxe or anything. Just because I don't consider that. It is part of the album, but it's not part of the normal album, which is what I always do. Uh, so, yeah. Something Human. It's awesome for me. And then you have one. Holy cow. Thought Contagion has become one of my favorite Muse songs. I think I put it in the top 10. I don't remember. Yeah, it was exactly 10, I think. Here's the intro for that. I'm gonna get copyrighted. I don't care. I know I'm already getting copyrighted, but I want to try to limit it by limiting the amount of the songs I play. Uh, but yeah. Doc and Tangent. Listen to it for yourself. It's amazing. I love it. Um, it's awesome. And then Get Up and Fight, this one was 24. Technically, I tied it with something human, but, you know, whatever. This, I know a lot of people think, oh, it's so poppy, but the chorus for this, it's amazing. And at least in my opinion, it's a, it's so catchy. And I wasn't a fan of this at first, but this caught on so much, and it was awesome. Get up and fight. And then Blockades. I don't know where I stand for this one. This isn't a good song for me, but it's not a bad song at all. I guess it is a good song. It's just not, like, great. This is just sort of in the middle of it for me. Blockade. Same thing with Dig Down. The Void. Not necessarily weak closers. Dig Down is definitely good. But I think that they definitely tied it all together, at least, with the album, without the videos and stuff. With The Void. Started off with Algorithm. A long introduction. Instrumental blah, 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 and it ends with a long introduction and a long instrumental, and the void leaves the void in the story, so I, me and a lot of other fans, obviously, this is why fan theories are a thing, um, and I mean, I, I love this, I love the story so much, uh, the, how all the videos go together, because Fallout Boy did something like this, where they actually made a whole movie with a beginning, end, middle, and it's all clear and everything happens. This is sort of up to your own imagination. What happens? Because as far as the videos go, at least, they sort of end after Thought Contagion. Um, if you're looking at them in the video order. And I just really like this album. Uh, one of, It's become one of my favorites, honestly. I always held the Black Parade on such a high pedestal. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely still... An amazing album for me but this is starting to definitely get up there anyway thanks for watching this uh leave your comments down below and i i'll review some more albums if you guys want me to otherwise i'm going to start uh you know getting back to my mlb stuff but yeah thanks for watching and i will see you next video